I would like to introduce Ingrid Parker, one of our teachers here at Performance High. Um, Ingrid, why don't you talk about like what you do here at Performance High? Yeah, so um, I was a student for a really long time. Um, I think about, gosh, like three or four years mm -hmm. and then started the teacher training program. Um, long time instrumentalist and uh, wanted to try teaching voice and finding new ways to be part of the Performance High community. And it's been a really great journey, really challenging journey. Um, <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I teach a few students every week and it's been really great. Yeah. But you've been teaching for a long time. You're teaching music for a long time. I have been teaching music a long time. Uh, yeah, I became a band director in a uh, public school in Arizona in 2007. So I've been teaching uh, mostly uh, like preteen teenagers for that time. Um, and then moved to Colorado in 2011. And I've been mm -hmm. teaching with Boulder Valley School District um, that entire time also instrumental music. Yeah, great. Yeah. Do you find that teaching voice is different from teaching instruments? It is so different. Yeah. It is so different. Because every when you're teaching an instrument, most of it is on the outside of the body. Right. And there's <laughs> so much that I can that I can see um, as well as hearing it. And with voice, the instrument is inside the body. And it's so mm -hmm. and every body is unique. Um, we all have our unique challenges. And so I also really love the challenge and the uniqueness and um, it's just such a beautiful thing when you have that moment where a student um, and we've been doing our exercises and we're working on a song where they have a moment and they're just like was that my voice <laughs> and there's something about that that's just so beautiful what else do you like about teaching in general teaching music in general that's such a great question and there's so Oh my gosh, there's just so much. Music has been, music in a lot of ways, and I'm sure this is true for a lot of people, like music really saved my life when I was a kid. Um, I had a very difficult um, childhood, lots of moving, um, lots of hardship, um, lots of family difficulty. And, you know, it was really lovely because the music room was the place that I could go that was it was safe, it was consistent, it was encouraging, it was something I was interested in. Um, and the longer that I did it, because I started, I started like for, formal music training maybe when I was like 11 or 12. And then um, the longer I did it, the more I realized too how much I love the problem solving aspect of it. Um, I really love puzzles. And so when I can find pieces that fit or find the solution that fits, um, in these very unique situations, like that unlocks a creative part of me that is very satisfying. Um, and I really, really enjoy that. And seeing people grow in their confidence and grow into their artistry mm -hmm. and grow into something that fulfills them and makes them happy and gives them that wonderful space to just like be themselves um, Just you know, like you were talking about for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And so it's for me like doing music and teaching music is very much a a pay it forward yeah. sort of um, activity. Well, if you are interested in voice or instrument lessons with Ingrid, please reach out and contact us. Ingrid teaches pretty much everything. I mean, even things we don't have officially listed at Performance High. So can you mm -hmm. list the instruments you teach? Uh, so the instruments that I am most masterful in are gonna be brass instrument. Like I said, uh, I started on French horn. I play a lot of trumpet, a lot of trombone, tuba instruments like that. Um, I'm also uh, pretty good at teaching woodwind instruments up to a certain point. Um, so like flute, clarinet, saxophone. So wind instruments primarily, mm -hmm. um, but I've also taught percussion and strings. Um, and so I'm, I'm jack of all trades, master yeah. of none, and, I and suppose. Then, and then of course voice. <laughs> and then of course voice. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, thanks for taking a few minutes. Um, thank you. Yeah.